my name is uh, Asker Granerud. Um, I am the designer of Hutan and Heat and a number of other games out there. Flam Rouge and Copenhagen are some of the more uh, known ones. Um, and uh, Hutan here is a game that releases from our own publisher, Psychic Games. And it releases in uh, March of 2025 worldwide in 20 languages and 25 territories. So, in Hutan, uh, and the Hutan is the Indonesian word for forest, so uh, uh, all the animals, all the flowers, all the trees uh, in the game are uh, taken from or inspired of the Indonesian rainforest. In Hutan, everyone has their own player board, so everyone would have this section for one person. This is quite far into the game, maybe even towards the end of the game. On your turn, uh, what you would do is you would take a card from the market and then everyone would uh, take turns taking cards from the market. When you do take a card, um, you then take the flowers matching uh, what was on the card and you get rid of it and you place these flowers into your um, ecosystem. You can place them as you want to but they cannot be, uh, they have to be next to each other and diagonals are not allowed so, so this could be allowed. The reason you place them there are two primary reasons you're placing them. The first one is that if you take one of these islands or one of these areas and you complete it with colors, flowers colored uh, of one color, then you score the points associated with it in the, in the area, simple. Um, the other reason is that if you at some point manage to place a same color flower on top of each other, and you stack them, then instead of placing it, you actually get to grow a tree, which will score you two points at the end of the game. Um, if you manage to not only complete an area in a single color, but also get trees on all of them, then you have created a perfect habitat for the animal that likes to live in this kind of uh, uh, area. And instead, you take the last place tree and you replace it with an animal of that color. There's a limited amount of the animals, so maybe they have been run out if some other players have taken them before you got a chance to. Um, Basically, that would be the rules of the game. Tree score points, area score points if you finish them, uh, uh, animal score points. And in the core game, if you have started something but not finished it, or you mix two different uh, color flowers in a single area, then at the end of the game, you will also score the minus points for that area instead of the bonus points for it. Once you place an animal, you also get a few bonus actions, joker actions on the neighboring uh, spaces. Um, and um, if you really like it a lot and you played it five or ten times and you want some more spice, uh, then uh, there are 24 of these, uh, of these um, uh, ecosystem cards that you can add in. Uh, and uh, you do this at the beginning of the game. They count for everyone uh, and uh, are just additional ways to score points uh, in this game. This means that you have like... Inf close to infinite replayability, you literally have millions of ways of setting up the game when you also include the fact that all these boards are double-sided and can be turned any way you want to. So even though everyone plays on the same board, one player randomizes it and then the others copy it. The setup here with the rings, the circles in the middle is, uh, is, an, is an easy setup for Hutan. And it comes in March 2025. Thank you. This is absolutely just a prototype. Um, I've learned to laser cut and I've been laser cutting a lot of cardboard to make, it, make this happen. Um, so uh, I think the colors will, will be a lot more vibrant because this is not only a, uh, a prototype, it's also on, on our home printer, made on a home printer. So, uh, so uh, it's Vincent Dutre who is an amazing illustrator and artist. So uh, yeah, uh, I think it, it already looks good. We're very happy with it. I think it will look even better once actually released. Thank you so much.